Hi, this is Daniel Graverson. I'd like to show you a short tip on how to find iDocs uh, in PI. Um, obviously, if you're doing a bad job sending a lot of invoices, it may be difficult to find the message uh, in PI because you just got the timestamp saying, ah, this is sent at 20 minutes past 1 o'clock. Uh, and then you put an interval and then you have to browse through all of them. I found that quite irritating, uh, so I <laughs> found the, the, the way to do it and that is in in the third status record. We have this transaction ID, so when we go into the PI, this is the PI system, we call the transaction IDX5 and we change the date because this was sent yesterday and we put in the transaction ID and voila we can see we can see the IDOX sent here um, sometimes that works apparently not here uh, but most important we can see the the IDOC uh, and how that that works out and we can browse down and see the payload here and download it what about the other way? When we receive an IDOC from the PI system and want to trace how this IDOC has been generated, this is also possible. Just log into the find the IDOC you want to see, open the control record, and on the details section here, we have this uh, as the message squid. Remember, these two parts are not a part of the message grid, so we don't want to copy those. And we log into the PI system, SXI monitor, change the date, and in the selection criteria we enter the, the message ID, and we execute, and we can then find the, the message and start working on what we want to do with this message. This is uh, something I've been doing quite a lot for the last uh, part, uh, last couple of weeks, just testing and figuring out wh how the IDOX worked, how they're mapped, and why they're not mapped as we expect. So I hope uh, this also helped you, and I'm looking forward to see more to you. Uh, cheers!